This is a perfect question for what I call the open formula. It looks like the word open with OP and then the E is an equal sign. And this is how I find very basic percentages where I'm finding the percentage of something. And so that's basically what this is, except unfortunately we're kind of trying to find the percentage, which is unusual because usually we're given that and we're trying to find what percent of a number that, that, that would be. And so because sometimes the SAT kind of makes these percentages backwards, we want to use a formula so that we don't actually accidentally move in the wrong direction. So let's just go over what these letters stand for. The O stands for the original amount. And in that case, the percentage um, that we're taking something like we're taking a percentage of is 300. So another way to remember this is the O is the original value. But when it's kind of set up this way, we can also think of it as the or, or sorry, of value, right? What percentage of? So what percentage of 300? So that's gonna be in that O position. Uh, we don't know the P, so we'll leave that as a variable. And then N is the new value, and that is 75. So N stands for new, and so we can now just solve for P. And we would do that by dividing both sides by 300. And many of you would have done this anyway, and that's okay. I'm just kind of thinking ahead because I do know that these questions get harder and have more twists and the formula keeps me organized. So 75 divided by 300 is 0 0.25. And um, the only weird other twist about this equation is that the percentage is going to be written as a decimal, so it's us up to us to convert it back into a percentage. So remember, move the decimal place, so this would be 25%, choice A, and that is the answer. There are other twists to the open formula, there are other versions of it, but this is the most straightforward version where we're just taking a normal percentage of something, and it doesn't matter which of the two components you have and which one you're missing, this formula will keep you organized no matter what.